Well, hello there, my, my viewers. This is Keystone, a.k.a. your street preacher. Today, I just want to say we, may God be with all of us through our times and hardships. Most gracious Heavenly Father God, I just want to say watch over us through our times of need. And may we put all our troubles in your hands. Amen. Now, we're going to turn to the book in 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verses 55 through 58. It reads as this, O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abundantly, abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Now, we're going to turn over here next to Psalms chapter 12. You know, and it says, help Lord. Now, right now, everybody on earth, we're going to need some help. You know, whether it's help with the stimulus money, help with the light bill, help with your water bill. These are times we really need some help. We need help with prayer, help from men and women, you know, not trying to commit suicide, help with, you know, keeping your children busy and, you know, staying away from all these um, social media sites that promote all types of things that the children are not being able to educate. These are times everybody needs help, you know, help with all types of things, you know, even men who have lost loved ones during the coronavirus outbreak. So these are times we just really need some help. So Psalm 12 says, Help, Lord, for the godly man ceaseth, for the faithful fell from among the children of men. Now, we're going to turn to 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verses 3 and 4. 3 reads as this, Blessed be God, even the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy and the God of all comfort, who comforteth us, my bad, let me see, it says, who comforteth us in our tribulations, that we may be able to comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted of God. See, these are times when you comfort of God, and I guess a lot of men and women, they don't like being social distance. Right now, these are times you need to take your prayers to God, you need to fast and believe. My definition of fasting is you can miss a meal. What that means is if you ain't putting nothing in your body, you ain't getting fatter. That means if, you know, you can just miss one meal, like lunch, or breakfast, or even dinner. You know, I said breakfast is the most important meal of the day, so if you eat a powerful breakfast, you can fast all the way to dinner time. Dinner time starts about 5 o'clock. Now, in closing, that I wanted to read is Second Timothy. Now, the reason why I like this, this verse, and I've read the Bible from Genesis to Revelation, it describes the whole Bible. And to me, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15 you can't be ashamed to put in work for God, no matter what men and women look at you, how they look at you. Everybody's not going to want to put in work for God. So 2 Timothy reads as this, chapter 2, verse 15, it says, study. So you ain't got to worry about false prophets, you know, preachers and teachers. Did you study the word of God for yourself? That's why the first word, that's the most powerful word of the scripture. You know, I know a lot of men will quote uh, John 3, 16, but if you read the first word of this, it says study. I mean, did you have your own personal Bible study? Did you study the Word of God for yourself so you can get led astray? It says, study the shoe, thyself approved unto God. So you got to be approved unto God. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. So don't be ashamed of God. If men and women want to be haters, you move away from them. Like this song says, shake them haters off. Then it says, rightly dividing the Word of Truth. Again, it says, study to show thyself approved unto God. A workman of that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly divided the word of truth. So that's like in mathematics, we're going to divide from those men and women who don't want to do the right words of God. 
You're going to go this way, they're going to go that way. We're going to divide from them. It's like heaven and earth. You know, heaven is divided from earth like in the beginning of the Bible. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, it says God created heaven and the earth. It's like the men who went to hell. They're, everybody's divided. We're not going to go the same di di um, direction. Just like men who go to the stars. Like Genesis chapter 1 verse 16. God created the stars also. So everybody was going to be divided going different directions. Just like if everything, the social distancing was over with. Everybody doesn't work the same job. So we're all the earth are divided. There's other religions and stuff out there. But like I said, I read the King James Version of the Holy Bible. I don't religious, you know, bash anything like that. Whatever you you do, I just like to give you uplifting words and may God be with everybody. Amen.